Hi guys, this is Ken1171 here, and in this video, we are going to talk about a new script I have uh, uh, created called the Scripts Manager. Um, before I say what it does, let me show you why I have created it in the first place. So here we have Poser 12, and uh, I have uh, this, the Python Scripts panel here. Um, let's close it because in case yours is not showing you come here to window and then Python scripts or press control shift O whatever is easier to you once you do that this uh, panel shows here and you can see uh, you can put your scripts uh, here for easy launching for example the IK manager I can just click it here and it shows uh, right away I don't have to go for the scripts menu to uh, scripts menu to go hunt for it, um, and that's all good and dandy. But the the question is, how did I put it here in the first place? How did I populate this list? Because it's not going to come populated by default. Um, as a matter of fact, it's going to come with other scripts I don't use. So I have to uh, to change that to add mine, and uh, it's not easy. I'm telling you in telling you in advance, it's not easy to put scripts here. Let me show you how that works. First of all, um, you go to your uh, main runtime and then go to Python and then you expand this and go to other scripts and here it is. There is a main buttons Python script. I have to edit, so I'm gonna uh, open it. I have a, a Python editor. Uh, that I use to create my scripts here. And then you have to edit this. As you can see here, you have uh, uh, positions for 10 scripts uh, and you have to uh, fill out this uh, Python script, assuming you know how to do that because it's a Python script. Guys, it's, it's a text file, but it's still a Python script. And you edit this here and you um, save the file and close it and uh, still the button is not going to show here yet you have to run it from file run python script and then you navigate to where this file is and run it and then it's going to show here the alternative is you have to restart poser if you don't want to run the script and then it's going to show here and now rinse and repeat for all the other ones that you see in my list of course your list is going to be different depending on what scripts you have and which ones you want to show here and uh, if you ask me that's a lot of work to make one script show in this list and second problem is is if you remember from uh, that python script you only have 10 positions you cannot add more you have 10 and if you need more you are both out of luck and out of space because you cannot have more than 10. That's a poser limitation. And uh, having that said, I thought I want something better than this. And this is where my new script, let me open it here, it's called the Scripts Manager. Once I run it, um, I already have it docked here. Probably to you it's going to show like this. And of course, if you have no scripts from me, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be empty. But um, these are the scripts I have installed right now. So I can dock it anywhere. It's a poser native panel. It behaves like any other uh, uh, poser panel. So it's going to be familiar to you. Uh, and I didn't have to program any uh, Python script like uh, we have to do with this menu here, by editing this file, saving and running the script, I don't have to do anything. As soon as I run this script, the list is populated automatically. Um, it goes there to where I have my scripts installed, scans the folders, and uh, uh, dynamically populates this list uh, automatically. I don't have to do anything. And as a matter of fact, let's go there to where I have it installed. I have mine, uh, inst those were installed from zip archive. How do you do that? You come here to file, install from zip archive. 
So if you download a zip file from the store and install it from here, it's going to be on um, your downloads runtime. Go to runtime, Python, my vendor name. And this is where the scripts you see in the list here are coming from. It scanned this folder and created this dynamically. And I can, ins I can run them um, automatically by just clicking them. They launch. Let's put it here. So uh, when I click it, it launches the script. All right. Um, let's say I installed a new script. I have here IK Manager, which is not in the list. And I'm going to unzip it in the installation folder. It's going to show here. Here it is. Hey, it didn't show in the script. All I have to do is click this button here, which says refreshes the list. And boom, IK Manager is now installed. It shows in the list, not on that one. Well, maybe I added it. No, it's not there. All right. Um, and it's launched. And I can use it and launch it from here whenever I want. So when I say this list is dynamic, oh yeah, it is here, here it is. Um, when I say that this list is dynamic, it means that uh, it's populated in real time. If I install new things like I just did now, uh, it's going to show here immediately when I refresh the list. So that's, that's the first thing I wanted to do with this script. Second one is I have no limit for how many scripts that can be listed here. If I have 20, the 20 are going to show here. I don't have a limit of 10. And finally, what if I have a script that has multiple parts? Uh, for example, I have this script here that you see it shows in a, in a different color. And it has these uh, arrows to the, to the right. And it says here in the tooltip, if you take a look, Click to expand the script menu, which means clicking here is not going to launch a script, but it's going to expand a new menu and show all subparts, all the scripts that belong to this script. Um, and then I have a back button to return to the main menu. So I navigate to the multi script. I launch it. This is a script I haven't released yet, or depending on when you see this, uh, the video is going to be released already. Um, and it has two parts, and I can launch them from this menu, which means I can have uh, a button that launches multiple scripts uh, instead of having to put each one separately here or in the scripts menu. If a script has multiple parts, the way that um, Poser handles this, it's going to mix them all together with the other scripts which is kind of a mess. I want to be able to organize my scripts. If they have multiple parts, they show on their own menu. And that's uh, what it does here. So next uh, from this is the ability to uninstall scripts. You may ask me then, hey, Ken, why would I want to uninstall scripts? Um, when I release updates to my scripts, yeah, most of them will require you to uninstall the previous version first. And this is where this comes handy. Uh, for example, if you look at the tooltip, when we hover over the buttons, it says here, click to run the script or control click to uninstall it. It says something different on multi scripts because it's going to expand a new menu. But if you go to each one of the scripts here, it says I can uninstall it or launch it. Let's go back. Let's say I want to uninstall IK Manager. So I'm going to follow the instructions from the tooltip. I'm going to hold the control key and click it. It's going to ask me if I want to uninstall this script. And of course, it warns me to um, close it if it's running. That's a good idea. And if I say yes, two things are going to happen. If you look here, IK Manager has been deleted. The whole folder has been deleted, which means the script uh, script has been successfully uninstalled. It means it has been removed from Poser. And you may ask me, hey, Ken, did I lose my, my script? Oh, it's it's not lost. You can always go back to the store or the zip, in, uh, the zip installer you have downloaded and install it again. So nothing is lost. 
just keep in mind that you have actually deleted the script from that it that was installed in Poser. That's what it does. And it, I can come here from my backup here and restore it to where it was. Here it is. I have restored the the, uh, the folder. On, and if I click refresh, it's back. Here it is. And uh, as you can see, installing, uninstalling, launching, and managing sub sub menus with multiple parts. Uh, all of this is handled dynamically and automatically, as opposed to how Poser does it. I don't have to to be editing any any Python scripts to make things show here. They show automatically, and I can remove things uh, with a mouse click. If I wanted to remove a script from here, I would have, if you read the instructions here, to Alt-click to remove it. And what it does is it removes from the current section, session, which means next time you reboot, it's going to be back here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and uh, from my script, if you uh, remove it from, the, uh, from um, the menu here by uninstalling, it actually deletes the folder uh, that was installed. So yeah, it's different. It, it does what it says. Uh, next in line is it has this uh, opens the PDF manual help button here, which does what it says. Uh, I click that button, the question mark, and it shows you the manual, uh, the PDF manual in case you need uh, to more information. You want to see how it works. You want to be really reminded or you want to learn how it works. You can launch the PDF manual straight from here. Hey guys, there is one thing I forgot to talk about in the in the first video, and I'm adding this at the end here, is when you have double installations, duplicated installations. And you may ask, hey Ken, how can I possibly have a Python script installed twice in Poser? Well, thing is, things have changed in Poser 12 where scripts are now are now are now installed in different different folders and different runtimes than it was before in Poser 11 and, and all previous versions. Let me show you how it is. So my Poser 12 is installed here and I put my run my runtimes all in the same folder. In your installation it may be different. Uh, when you install Poser it asks you where you want to put your content and uh, I chose to put mine in the same place where Poser is installed. So you go to your uh, downloads folder. This is where everything you have installed from zip archive go to. Um, in previous versions, no matter how you installed things, it all went to the main runtime. Um, but now it's different. Now, if you install from zip archive, which means you have to download the zip file first, um, it goes to here, um, to the runtime, runtime, uh, to the downloads runtime, and then you have to navigate to runtime, Python, and then my vendor name. That's where the scripts end up at. But if you are, like I believe most, most people will do, will install from the store directly, from the embedded store, from the Poser library, things go to a different runtime called purchases, and you navigate to Runtime, Python, and my vendor name. I don't have anything there right now, but if you install from the store, uh, it ends up here instead. So as you can see, you have here and here. If you install from the store, it goes here. And if you install from Zip Archive, it goes here. And then I ask you, what if you installed in both ways? Well, it, you're going to end up with a duplicated installation. With my scripts in particular, that doesn't matter much, uh, as far as I know, because uh, you can only run one instance of each. Let's do an example here. I'm going to um, unzip IK Manager here uh, to simulate installing from the store. So uh, if you install from the store, this is where it's going to end up. And I'm going to refresh the list. And uh, as you can see here, IK Manager now shows here and here. So yeah, 
it is possible to have uh, duplicated installations now. So if I launch it from here, it's going to launch at last place it remembers. And if I try to launch it from here, well, you can't because you can only run one instance of the script at a time. That's how I program my scripts. If I close this one and run this one, it opens at a different place. This is the last place this script, which is the same uh, uh, like that, but it's a, this duplication here uh, was launched here the last time. As you, and as you can see, it's installed uh, twice. How can you know if it's installed twice? Well, with my tool, it's gonna show in the list twice, here and here. So you can use this tool to know if you have a duplicated installation. And uh, the way to, uh, to, to deal with this is, I'm gonna uninstall one of them. You may think that if I uh, uninstall this one, which was the last one I installed, which is from the store, um, you may think that it's going to uninstall this one from the store, but let's go ahead. You're going to see it. No, it's going to do something else. I'm going to say yes. And uh, if you go to here, you say, yeah, it's still here. It, it was removed. I no longer have a duplicated installation, but it's still here in the purchases runtime. If I go to the uh, um, download runtime and refresh, you're going to see, hey, it was removed from uh, uh, the other runtime, from, from uh, downloads instead. How does that work? Well, the thing is, I give in my script priority to things that were installed from the store, which means if I, no matter which one I try to uninstall, when I have a duplicate, it's going to give a uh, preference to keeping the one I installed from the store and uninstall instead the one from uh, you have installed from other sources, for example, from a zip archive. Um, and uh, if I uninstall again, uh, again, like this version here, now it's going to get the one installed from the store, which is this one over here. And that's the last thing I wanted to show you that you can use this to, to detect and uh, correct double installations very quickly. All you need to see, if, oh, I have a script showing twice in my list. It means I have a duplicated installation and I have just show you how to fix it. And that's all my friends. Thanks for watching.